Good evening, everybody. As we've been doing every Monday for nearly 110 days now, we are going to have for you a coronavirus update. How is the virus spreading and behaving in India? And today I have to say that we have bad news and bad news. There's really not that much cheerful information to provide. 40,000 cases yesterday. Uh, it's a record. In fact, it's even higher, I think, yesterday than Brazil. So that would make India the country with the second highest number of new cases yesterday. So that number continuing to grow and no signs really of the growth rate in absolute cases dropping much below 3.5 and it's mysterious why that's not happening and partly of course because new areas keep on coming up. But secondly, active cases, which is when you take the total number of cases and reduce the number of people who've recovered. Now, active cases in India were not growing that fast, just 10, 15, 20 days ago. And that was the really good news that we kept reporting to you. Well, not anymore, unfortunately. Active cases rose by something like 16,000 yesterday. And I think that's close to another record. And in fact, the growth rate of active cases is now crossed back over four. Hopefully, it's just a one or two day operation, but it crossed back over that 4% mark. And that's again not good news because that curve had come down now seems to be trending upwards once again. The good news, I guess, comes from a few individual cities. Delhi, for example, continues to be the shining light, which really seems to have turned turned the clock on, on, on coronavirus. Mumbai also not doing quite that badly. Other pieces of good news, of course, are that medical infrastructure so far is keeping pace with coronavirus and testing is continuing to rise. But the real reason why coronavirus continues to be a crisis in India and why their growth rate is going up is that while the early hotspots, Delhi, um, it started actually earlier, but even with Kerala and states like that, which got it under control, Delhi, Mumbai, Tamil Nadu, these are the big hotspots. And there, the growth rate of coronavirus has come down, especially in Delhi, but also to some extent in Mumbai and in Tamil Nadu. But the problem is that new areas are coming up. So look at the number of cases we're now seeing in Maharashtra. And that's because cities like Pune are now suddenly saying, what is it, 3,000 fresh cases just yesterday. And then other states, which we've been talking about, especially in the South, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and those are coming up. Now, what does all of this mean? It means 1.1 million cases in India right now. Let's forecast, take the last three or four days growth rate and forecast it out 30 days. If that's the growth rate that is maintained, and of course, it's not necessarily it will be maintained. It could go up, it could go down. Hopefully, it will go down. But if this growth rate is maintained, what will be the number of active cases in India? What will be the number of total cases in India? That's the fundamental question that we keep on trying to arrive at. So let's look at the total number of cases. 1.1 million total cases in India right now. Well, if this growth rate is maintained, India will have crossed something like two and a half million cases 30 days from now. And that's not good news. Maharashtra will have seen something like 630,000 total cases. We'll probably be top four or five in the world at that, at that sort of a level. Karnataka though, a state which thought it had the coronavirus under control. The present growth rates in Karnataka are maintained. It will have something like 387,000 cases 30 days from now. Andhra Pradesh, 329,000 cases from now. Tamil Nadu, where it is slowing down, about 345,000. Bihar, West Bengal, UP, these are all states that could become hotspots and have a very high number of cases. So that's, that's the worrying sign. Now, deaths not growing at the same rate as either active cases are or total cases are, and that's a relief. But if you extrapolate the present growth rate out the 30 days, you'll still have a figure of something like 50,000 deaths about 30 days from now. And that would put India very clearly into the top three or maybe top five if Mexico and others would to see us first. So it's not really looking that, that good right now. And it's not very clear what the answer is. Because India has fired a lot of bullets. We've done the lockdowns, we've stepped up testing, people are wearing masks, uh, all of that, is that, that, that has been done. And cases are continuing to rise and summer has come and summer has gone and PCG and all of those factors are there. But cases are continuing to rise. What's the answer? Well, I don't know. We keep, we keep hoping and praying for that vaccine and individual states have started locking down once again. All right, here are a quick look at all the big stories at this hour.
India for the first time recorded over 40,000 new coronavirus cases in a single day. 40,425 new infections and 681 deaths were recorded in the last 24 hours in the biggest single-day jump government data showed on Monday morning. The spike took India's COVID count past the 11 lakh mark and the deaths went up 27,497. The country's recovery rate stood at 62.61% and over 7 lakh people have recovered from the virus so far, the health ministry said. Addressing a press meet in the capital, the director of AIMS, Dr. Randeep Guleria, said, Going by the ICMR data, it would be wrong to say that there has been community spread of COVID-19 at the national level. He cautioned, however, that there has been a spike in cases and hotspots in big cities and small towns, and local transmission could be possible in these areas. He added that containment zones need to be more aggressive to stem the contagion by conducting door-to-door -door surveys, increase isolation and testing of people showing even mild symptoms. If you look at the country of the whole country, there is no evidence that ICMR has shown its data of zero surveillance that at a national level community transmission is happening. There are many states where there are very few cases. To say that there is a community transmission there would not be a right thing. But there are hot spots. In, in even in cities uh, where there is a spike of cases and it is very likely that local community transmission in those areas is happening. Delhi Health Minister Satinder Jain, who has recovered after testing COVID-19 positive, said that the community spread of the deadly virus is present. He said that there has been community spread of the infection among many people in Delhi as well. Jen said it's very technical to say either it's local or community spread. The source of many positive patients remain unknown after testing. He added that the technical battle should be left to the centre to decide whether there has been community spread. If there are 1 million patients in the country, will it not be called community spread, he asked. Delhi has over 1.2 lakh confirmed coronavirus cases and around 3,597 deaths so far. This is a very technical issue. कि भी कम्युनिटी स्प्रेड है या लोकल स्प्रेड है या नहीं है हम तो ये कह सकते हैं पूरी कम्युनिटी में स्प्रेड तो है आप कहीं भी टेस्ट कर लीजिएगा कोई ना कोई निकल ही जाता है और बहुत सारे लोगों को पता नहीं लगता किससे उसको इन्फेक्शन हुआ है तो इस टेक्निकल लड़ाई को छोड़ देते हैं केंद्र सरकार फैसला कर लेगी कि कम्युनिटी स्प्रेड India's COVID-19 case fatality rate is progressively falling and is currently at 2.49%, which is one of the lowest in the world, the Union Health Ministry said on Sunday. According to a ministry statement, the case fatality rate has fallen below 2.5% for the first time. The number of recovered COVID-19 patients exceeds India's active caseload by 3,4043, with 6.77 lakh people having recuperated from the disease so far, the ministry said. There are 29 states and union territories with a case fatality rate lower than the national average, with five of them having a CFR of zero and 14 having a fatality rate of less than 1%. The West Bengal government has said there will be total lockdown across the state for two days every week amid spike in COVID-19 cases. This in addition to the already enforced broad-based lockdown inside containment zones. The lockdown in the current week will be imposed on Thursday, 23rd of July and Saturday, 25th of July. The two-day lockdown would be decided ahead and communicated by the government every week. The state will observe total lockdown also on Wednesday, 29th of July. Bengal Home Secretary has confirmed that community transmission of COVID-19 has been recorded in a few areas in the state. The West Bengal government is planning to set up COVID-19 units at every private and state-run hospital. The state is also planning to procure at least 19 more RT-PCR test kits as it wants to ensure that at least 25,000 tests are carried out every day. In Phase 1, the units will be set up in the state-run hospitals of South 24 Parganas, North 24 Parganas, East and West Midnapur districts, which are all hotspots.